My name is Stephen Lowe. I'm the producer and director of uh, Rocky Mountain Express. I've always been a train fanatic ever since I was little. And so uh, when the Canadian Pacific res began to restore this engine, uh, it was dream come true. The craziness of it is what I love the most. That this tiny colony decided to build into across Canada towards a mountain pass where they didn't know how to get through yet. And they just felt that they could. And it was very wishful thinking because the route they chose to, to enable them to go south um, to keep the American moving in and taking over the Western Canada. They had to go south and they, they um, hired this extraordinary guy called Van Horn who pushed it through and became the most famous historical figure in Canada for, for succeeding in building this railway. But the, the strange irony of the film is that they, uh, the most difficult route was a curse uh, until they built it and then uh, it turned out to be the most beautiful place on earth. And that was the irony that saved them, because they, they weren't planning on the tourism. The tourism came because they chose the difficult route. And there's really one of the, it's one of the greatest routes on, on the face of the earth, as far as scenery goes. Um, so they were rescued by the beauty of, the, of nature. Early on in the film, you, you try to set up a style. Uh, you review your rushes. You, you're looking for a look and a style and a mood. And, and this, the, what we found out early on, even in our test shoots, is the engine had such a presence, and the train itself had such a presence, that we didn't want to diminish that by uh, filming you know, the crew, um, the enthusiasts along the tracks, because most people do that. With, we wanted the engine to, to be in a kind of a thoughtful journey and allow the, the locomotive to pull the, the spirits of the past.